Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you're here. My name is Angie and today we are rearranging a tiny living room. So if you live in a small space or you have a space that can be awkward to arrange or rearrange, stick with me and I'll give you some great tips and stay with me till the end and I'll show you the after shots. It really looks great. My first tip is to plan out where you want your largest pieces of furniture. I knew I wanted the couch on the longest wall, which meant moving the TV, so the TV had to have a place to go. The natural spot for it is above the fireplace, so I'm cleaning that space off. Bill has all the wires to the TV um, all connected and all taped together, all bound together and attached to a power strip. So what I'm doing here is I'm simply unplugging the power strip from the wall and I'm undoing the cable box and the DVD player and leaving everything else connected and taped. That way I don't have to worry about reconnecting everything. The cords that go back into the DVD player are not the same size as the cords that go back into the cable box. So it's very easy to figure out how to hook everything back up. And having the cords just bundled together makes it easier and more tidy when everything's put in its place anyway. So there was no reason to undo those while I moved the TV. Tip number two when you're rearranging a small space or an awkward space, move any small items you can out of the room. I'm taking the two tiny end tables that sat side by side on the end of the couch and putting them in the kitchen so I'm not having to maneuver around them while I'm moving bigger pieces of furniture. <music> the longest wall in our living room so that seems to be where the largest piece of furniture should go when we had the room arranged the way it was when we started it left a lot of floor space which was great for the holidays Thanksgiving and Christmas and family gatherings and so on but it makes the entryway um, from the front door very tight because you're having to maneuver around Phil's oversized recliner and it makes getting in and out of the kitchen tight because you're having to maneuver around my smaller recliner, which is still a pretty large piece of furniture and situated essentially dead center in the kitchen door. And it's also that kitchen door, that little half wall, that's where a lot of people tend to stop and gather. I have a ton of pictures of people just leaning against that wall, chatting with people who are both in the kitchen and in the living room. So opening up those traffic paths is gonna make it a lot easier, a lot better flow through the house. When you're down and you stare at your window Hoping that you'll come up with some words to say That's not okay When you feel like you're fed up with heartbreak Tip three is to always vacuum the empty spaces. When you move something, 
and you expose an area that hadn't been cleaned before, vacuum under it. And before you put anything back, even if you vacuum that space a few minutes ago, vacuum it again because you don't know how much dust has been kicked up from moving pieces of furniture around the room and walking back and forth to rooms and garages and so forth. So just always run the vacuum before you put something back in that space so it's nice and clean. I am here with my friends and we're dancing. We can feel all the obstacles go away. That's how we play. We can never go back this road. You never go back the I knew in my mind that the entertainment center would fit on this entryway wall where Phil's chair was but I wasn't sure how wide it was going to be or if I was going to like it. I have to tell you, when I put it here, I loved it. It almost looks like it was custom made for this space. It fits perfectly and it's a beautiful accent piece when you first walk in the door. It's very eye-catching and it's also a perfect place for my dad's ashes and I absolutely love it. I really think this is one of my favorite parts of the room now. Never up, never down, never Like a theme in a song, clever Feeling high, feeling low at the same time Feel so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine But I get up, I always do I never think, I always do Never thought I wouldn't jump, oh what a fool I picked up these two dark end tables at Target a few years ago and I think they were $40 each. I love the little crossbars on the ends. I think it gives them a lot of character. You've heard me talk about how dark they are and how they show every little speck of dust and it's true they do, but I love the deep rich color of them and they're super easy to clean and I just, I just like the character of them. I put them under the window and I really like the way they look there. It's a perfect space for that little for that little location keeps it from looking too empty but it still leaves plenty of uh, room to walk around never up never down never like a theme in a song clever feeling high Feeling low at the same time Feel so right, then I'm wrong Hoping I'll be fine But I get up, I always do I never think, I always do Never thought I would And now, it's time to make sure that I can hook everything back up and that the TV actually works because if it doesn't, my husband is not going to be real happy with me. <laughs>
My last tip is to always run the vacuum through the public spots when you're done. Even though you've vacuumed the carpet in bits and pieces, it's always good to go through it again once everything's in its place. Give it a final vacuum so you know you've gotten up anything that's been disturbed by pushing and pulling furniture around. Get ready for the before and after shots. I think it looks fantastic. You guys let me know what you think. Tell me what you like the best and tell me if you think I should have done something differently. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm awfully glad you stopped by. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. Thanks for stopping by. You guys have a great day. Come back and see me soon. Never up, never down, never Like a theme in a song, clever Feeling high, feeling low at the same time Feel so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine But I get up